Buzz, I know you don't want to talk to me right now, but I am so sorry, okay? I, I panicked when you got the WWE offer and I didn't think about what I was doing. It was selfish and I know I screwed up big time. I knew that weeks ago, but I was in too deep at that point. I thought about coming clean so many times, but the longer I waited, I knew the worse it would be, so I decided to do anything I could to keep us together. Look, take whatever time you need to cool down, and maybe we can meet up at some point and talk, okay? I'm sorry, Buzz. I really, truly am. Bro! <laughs> What a crazy night. I know! That was the craziest, loopiest roller coaster of emotions I've ever been on, and I wasn't even riding in the front. <laughs> I can't imagine how you're feeling. I, I don't even know yet, okay? I'm, I'm still in shock from everything that happened. <laughs> well, good luck on SmackDown. Not that you need it. You're gonna do great. Aw, uh, thanks, man. You know, I... Too bad you didn't get signed, too, but I think it's just a matter of time until you join me in WWE. Don't worry about me. After the attention we got invading NXT, I'm pretty sure my indie booking fee just about tripled. <laughs> Plus, I always got a standing offer to head back to Japan. That's good, man. That's good. Don't be a stranger. I won't. But, if you're ever feeling lonely on the road, you can take a look at this and remember your old buddy Cole. <laughs> what is that? I took it off the scrap trap after our match and made it into a keychain as a sort of good luck charm. I want you to have it now. Aww. Thanks, man. I mean, if things don't work out in WWE, I think I might have a future as a, uh, a gas station bathroom attendant. So, thanks. You uh, might want to rinse it off. There's probably still some blood on it. Ugh. Could be ours. Could be an inmate's from when it was a prison fence. Who knows? Oh, God. Okay, well... What a missy, man. BCW handshake? It's kind of weird now. It's a little bit weird. Oh, hey, bro. Long time no see, bro. I know, it's been a minute. I have an idea. One last road trip together? Let's do this. <laughs> wow! wow! Got to be kidding me. You know, seeing as how you're a big shot WWE superstar now, maybe it's time you get a nicer ride. At least one that runs? Uh, no way, all right? This van was the last thing my dad gave me. I'll get it fixed. Your stubbornness really bugs me sometimes. <laughs> get it? Because <laughs> it's a bug van. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Let's start pushing. SmackDown Live's newest superstar has arrived! Oh, I was hoping him getting signed was just a very bad dream. Yeah, sorry, Corey, but this is really happening. Welcome to SmackDown. I'm glad you made it okay. I was a little worried when you told me you'd be driving your van to the show. <laughs> I had a bunch of work done on it, so no need to worry. Spending that WWE money already, huh? <laughs> Not like that. Like I said before, I see a lot of myself in you. We both paid our dues on the indies and faced a ton of adversity to get to WWE. But with all that being said, don't expect me to play favorites or give you any handouts here on SmackDown. You're going to have to earn everything you get. Hey, I wouldn't want it any other way. Good. And speaking of earning opportunities, that starts tonight. Because you'll be competing in an eight-man battle royal to determine the number one contender for Bobby Roode's US title. That's great. Who else is in the Battle Royal? You can introduce yourself now, or in the ring. Buzz, I know you don't want to talk to me right now, but I am so so... Buzz, I was just watching NXT and then it hit me. The gimmick that's finally gonna get me to the top. Listen to this. Adam Cole's evil twin brother, Cole Adam. Well, well I guess technically if we're twins.
twin brothers, and we'd have to have the same last name, but... Oh, whatever, we can work out the kinks later. Listen, if you have Mr. McMahon's email, could you shoot that to me? I really think this idea is money, bro. Okay, talk to you later. Buzz, I was just doing my laundry and I had to call you. I was watching the dryer go round and round, right? And the clothes spinning in the machine. And all of a sudden, it hit me. The best gimmick idea ever. The Cyclone. It's like Cyclone, but I put my name Cole in there. And I basically like spin around and like throw clotheslines at people. It's money, I'm telling you, Buzz. I'm running with the next show. You're gonna be hearing a lot about the Cyclone later. Buzz, Buzz, I, I, I can't talk for long. They're coming, and they're listening. But I got it. My best gimmick idea yet. I've just been binging conspiracy documentaries. Get this, my new name, Grassy Knoll Cole. You'll want to believe. All right, throw away this phone as soon as you get this voicemail. Bye. Buzz. You're gonna love this one. I just got done spending hours on my computer spreading viral rumors about you. That's right, it's me, Internet Troll Cole. You mad, bro? <laughs> the kids are gonna love it. Memes! Buzz, good news, I got my mojo back, baby. This one's gonna be money, I guarantee it. Listen to this. Field goal coal. And he shoots! He scores! Right? Is that football? You don't think I'll actually have to play football, do you? Oh, man. Uh, uh, Alright, well, well, how about this one? Drum roll coal. Right? And I can come out and it's just a, a drum. And the whole crowd will. Oh, man. Ah. Uh, sinkhole coal? Because when you wrestle me, you'll. Sink. Uh, North Pole coal. I guess I could be like an elf. Or something. Uh, what else do we got? <laughs> fishbowl coal. I can wear a fishbowl on my head. That'll be really over. Uh, Alright, Buzz. Uh kind of at the end of my rope here. I I'm just going to list off a bunch of ideas. Uh, what do I got here? Bankroll coal. I guess like a banker. I give loans. Ah. Egg roll coal. I'm like a, a sushi chef of some kind. Ah, man. Keyhole coal. I, I, I make keys. Loophole coal. I guess I'm like a lawyer, maybe. Parole coal. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm under house arrest at all times. Maybe I could have, like, a cop be my manager. Oh, boy. Oh, Buzz, you're gonna love this one, buddy. You're gonna love this one. Got no self-control, coal. I just ate, like, eight donuts. Oh, Buzz, you're gonna love this one, buddy. You're gonna love this one. Pigeonhole, coal. You can't put me in a box. I'm already in it. Buzz, I got it. This is the one. Wait for it. Wait for it. Quinona Ryder. Eh? Eh? Ah, I'm just messing with you. That's terrible. No, the real idea is all I do is win Quinn. Now that's money. Buzz, this is it. I've peaked. This is the best idea I've ever had. Rock and roll coal. <laughs> and I already got my perm. Buzz, it's your boy coal. Listen, I've been reading this thing called a thesaurus, and I don't know why I haven't done this sooner. There are so many good gimmick ideas here. All right, listen to this. Cole Quinn Butt. My nickname is the Quintessential Rubicon. I don't even know what it means, but it sounds awesome. All right, hit me back up.
Get ready to feel the buzz. It's buzz. The following contest is a battle royale. Making his way to the ring from Virginia, weighing in at 200. Every superstar pounds. has a goal in WWE, and Brock told me Brandon he's aiming high U. with his. Lee. He wants to have a career that one day is recognized with a spot in the WWE Hall of Fame. It's way too premature to start that discussion, but his career is definitely trending in the right direction for that to at least be possible. On his first night here on SmackDown Live, Buzz has an opportunity to become number one contender for the United States Championship. Oh. How did he qualify for this match? He literally just walked in the door. You have to take that up to Daniel Bryan, Corey. Look, I know he got signed to SmackDown Live using somewhat questionable methods, but I'm willing to give him a chance. Let's see what he can do. Doubled over now. Now that's a display of excellent ring awareness. Nicely done. Check out Jinder Mahal's offense. The butterfly suplex, the end is there. What a shot to the back. Oh, you cannot take your eyes off him for a second. Really? Clearly on a mission here. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. Just a hellacious power slam. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. A punishing strike. Oh, straight forearm. There's no recovering from that. Woods making his statement as we speak. Nice move. Wow. Back to the basics with this stretch. Look at this. Oh, I think this man means business. He's on the defensive here. To be expected, though, it's not like he's in there with a slouch, guys. I know it's early, Jeez. but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's not looking like himself here. He's going to need to find a way to fire back. Ouch. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. Going for the jugular here. Baron Corbin is giving the crowd a show, but he needs to make sure he understands what really matters. Yeah, and he's feeding off it right now. Let's see if he can keep it up. And it's Xavier Woods executing the reversal. Baron Corbin just too fast for him. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Man, Xavier Woods, what offense. Oh boy, he is Ooh. rolling. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. Jeez, right on the jaw. He's making a statement here with this attack. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. Up goes Xavier Woods. What does Xavier Woods have to do? From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. What's he going to do now? Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your... What's Baron Corbin putting together here? I don't know, but it's going to hurt.
He's inflicting some serious pain here. I'm not sure how much he has left. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. That was such a hard fall. That could take all the energy right out of you. Is it enough, though? We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's going to be over. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, I think this man needs business. He's in the driver's seat now. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Xavier Woods finds himself in some trouble. He can't be happy with how this is going right now. Don't write him off just yet, guys. From what I see, these guys are pretty evenly matched at this point. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon, and given how impactful that move has been as of late, I'd say there's almost no coming back from it. You're right, Michael. It seems like that finisher has become more and more impactful with each passing week, if that's even possible. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match on ice. Oh, I think this man means business. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. The finisher could absolutely end this match, Michael, as you were saying. But it's not a game. That's it. The final elimination. This one's over. New number one contender for the United States Championship. What a debut on SmackDown Live. He didn't even pin anyone. It was a battle royal. He didn't have to. Apparently, the U.S. champion wants to get a closer look at his opponent. It appears Bobby Roode isn't too impressed with Buzz either. That's because he watched the same exact match I did. Buzz isn't going to win the U.S. title by throwing Bobby Roode over the top rope. If you're just joining us, the number one contender for the U.S. title is here on SmackDown Live. And we've learned he's going to get his U.S. title shot at Backlash. I can't wait to hear him try to rationalize how he even belongs in the same ring with Bobby Roode. This should be good. A few months ago, I was wrestling in high school gyms in front of maybe 300 people. A lot's changed since then, to say the least, because now I'm wrestling one of the best in the business, Bobby Roode, for the U.S. title at Backlash. Through all my ups and downs, I've learned that you can't take anything for granted. And that's why at Backlash, I can't guarantee that I'll beat Bobby Roode. But I can guarantee I'm going to enjoy the moment. Because you never know when it could all go away. I know when it could all go away. Sunday at Backlash, when this man totally embarrasses you. You know, after seeing so many guys come and go over the years, you become a bit jaded. Last week, I was ready to pass you off as some indie darling who hadn't paid his dues and didn't deserve to be here without even really meeting you first. But maybe you deserve a second chance. You don't have to like him, but you can at least be fair. And we've all made mistakes. Yeah, I like the suit you're wearing tonight. You did just call me one of the best in the business, after all. I meant it. You are. I'd actually say the best in the business, not one of. But I appreciate it nonetheless. So with all that being said, it's nice to meet you, Buzz. A couple minutes ago, you talked about savoring the moment. Well, with that in mind, how about we make our match at Backlash an even bigger moment for everyone to enjoy? A moment that would be absolutely glorious. I like what you're saying, but how do we do that? You versus me, best two out of three falls.
I look forward to stealing the show with you. Their match at Backlash just got even bigger. So, did you enjoy the moment? What do you mean? The moment you thought you had earned my respect. <laughs> Yes, that's what I'm talking about, Cole. Thank you, Bobby Roode. So much for second chances. Bobby Roode just sent a message to Buzz that he's going to have to earn his respect, not with words, but in the ring when they face each other at Backlash, the best two out of three falls. Contest is a two out of three falls match. The first superstar to get two falls will win the match and is for the United States Championship. That music can mean only one thing, it's Buzz! I caught up with Buzz earlier today and he told me about the time he skipped school to attend a WWE event. That's how passionate he was and still is about sports entertainment. When he said he skipped school, did he mean all of it? I mean, that's the vibe I got. Things just became absolutely glorious. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah! Not from you, Byron. How many times do we have to go through this? I've been practicing all week. You haven't gotten any better. Introducing the challenger from Virginia, weighing in at 242 pounds, the prototype, Brandon Yu Lee. Introducing the champion from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Weighing in at 235 pounds, he is the United States Champion, Bobby Roode. Stay right where you are, people. Thank <laughs> you. 
The last time we saw these two men, Bobby Roode stood over Buzz after hitting him with a glorious DDT. The question is, will tonight's best two out of three falls match end the same way? Yes, and I want to reiterate, this is Buzz's first actual singles match in WWE, and it's two out of three falls. He is in over his head. Look, a huge challenge, no doubt, but you have to start somewhere. Wow! Elbow! Uh -oh. This might be it! Oh my! The champ's starting to stumble a bit. Many see him as one of the greatest champions of this era. Tonight is his chance to prove it. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. Guys, a loss here for the champion would be incredibly embarrassing, especially considering all the trash talking I'm told that's been going on behind the scenes. I don't want to reveal my sources, but let's just say there's been some pretty harsh words being tossed around. Oh, no! I don't know who your sources are, Corey, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to learn that the champion has been a little cocky heading into this one. And there's nothing wrong with that, Michael, especially considering just how dominant the champ has been of late. When you're that good, you have every right to bow your chest out a little bit. He's got him covered. Digging deep for a kick out. Too soon. You gotta believe this one's over. When this guy's on, Look out. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. He hits it. Buzz brings everyone to their feet. Will Buzz be able to continue? He's got the shoulders down. Believe it or not, fellas, some people are speculating whether the champ should have to defend the gold against what some are calling inferior competition here tonight. And the champ kicks out. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find Death Valley bomb. But he's got to capitalize now. Corey, he's going for the pin. This is unbelievable. The championship changes hands. Whoa, Bobby Roode able to avoid damage. Nice. Check out Bobby Roode's offense. Check out Bobby Roode's offense. He looks a bit off his game here. He looks to be a little surprised right now. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. The good news for him is that his opponent's offense is likely packing a little less of a punch, considering all the damage he was able to inflict earlier in this match. That pressure! Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find... This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. That's what he was looking for, Michael. He's got him covered. Buzz with the W! Wow, congratulations, Buzz! These guys gave everyone their money's worth. Here's another look. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history.
Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. Buzz has done it. He's outlasted Bobby Roode to win his first title in WWE. And even more impressive, he did it in his first singles match. This guy is the real deal. Yeah, look, it's certainly a huge accomplishment to win the U.S. title the way that he did. But now the real work begins, defending it. He just won the title. Let the man... The new United States champion is here on SmackDown Live. From one champion to another... Congrats on your win over Bobby Roode. Thanks. I mean, woo! <laughs> oh. Maybe you should leave that to me and my dad. We're scheduled to hear from the U.S. champ later on tonight. And hopefully we don't have to hear any more of his terrible woos. We're off to a hot start here on SmackDown with your U.S. title win over Bobby Roode. Is there anyone you'd like to defend your championship against first? I did? Well, that makes my job easier. There's something special about being the United States champion. Sure, there's a long list of legends who have held this title, and that's great. But it's also how this title has been defended that makes it so special. It's a tradition that started with John Cena, and I've decided that I'm going to continue that tradition. Now, I'm not going to let this title sit on a shelf and collect dust. Oh no, I'm going to defend it every chance I get. That's why starting tonight, I'm bringing back the U.S. title open challenge. So whoever's ready to step up and face me, come on out right now. Who's going to be the first superstar to answer Buzz's U.S. title open challenge? Baron Corbin has been itching for a shot of the new guy, and now he gets it. Yeah, this could turn out to be a very short United States title reign for Buzz. Big flying forearm. Are you surprised Buzz initiated the U.S. title open challenge so early in his WWE tenure? I'm not surprised, Michael. From what we've seen so far, this guy's not afraid of challenging himself. Yeah, I'm not surprised either because he has a track record of reckless behavior. If you ask me, he's just setting himself up for failure. And then an elbow right to the shoulder. with the elbow drop. This kind of offense he's known for. Baron Corbin looking a little shaken here. But he certainly comes into this championship match with a ton of momentum. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory. And he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. Baron Corbin got him there. Wrenches the arm. Drop kick. Beautiful. Russian leg sweep. Big first right into the buckle. 
level a bad place to be for the challenger. And at this point, how much more does he have to give? Yeah, he's clearly not on the right side of this match right now, which is a little surprising to me. Oh, right on the crown of the skull. The champ's on the defensive now. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. I can tell you with all certainty that he did not anticipate his opponent mounting any sort of comeback here. And it looks like he was wrong. Very wrong. He hits it. Buzz brings everyone to their feet. Incredible. He's going for the pin. Wow, congratulations, Buzz. These gentlemen get after it. Buzz has done it, successfully defending his U.S. title in an open challenge match. Yeah, but the cracks in his armor are already starting to show. It's only a matter of time before it shatters completely. Uh, does armor shatter? It's a metaphor, Saxton. Don't hurt your brain. Return of the U.S. title open challenge last week, and Buzz is already in the ring, ready for his next opponent. Wow, these two have a little bit of history. Revenge fueled Buzz in his invasion of NXT. Will it fuel Gargano to victory tonight? Gargano has become one of the WWE's most cherished underdogs. Look for Johnny wrestling to put out another great performance tonight. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Johnny wrestling is hoping to show his opposition just how he earned that nickname. Oh, Byron, you see, some people named John use Johnny instead. Oh, you meant the wrestling part. He's displaying classic offense here. There's no coming back from that. Elbow drop. Big time. Great move. Nicely done. Well executed drop kick. The human body can only absorb so much of that. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't oh, snowball man. out of control. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. That strike hit the spot. There's no way he could have avoided that blow. Over the head and then the back rock. Great move. His strikes have a little extra on them tonight. Picture perfect drop kick. There may be no stopping him. We've seen champions head into matches maybe a little too confident, only to be picked off in the end. And guys, I can't help but wonder if we're going to see that again here tonight. Using all his power to drive him to the mat. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. The challenger not looking yeah. good right now. The champ clearly getting the best of him oh, here. Man. If he wants to win this thing, he's going to need to make some changes here. There's no way he can stay in this match if he doesn't find a way to fend off this attack. Sit out! Pile driver! This might be it, guys. Johnny Gargano is just getting overwhelmed. Speaking of champions, heading into matches a bit overconfident. One of the most glaring examples. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find one move after the other. It's devastating. Got him good there. Yeah, let's take another look. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Not the champion into the cover. And he got a near fall out of it. Still in it. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on. Let's go. Nobody comes back from this. 
Look at this. He's zeroing in on the arm now. Look out, down he goes. And he might not get back up. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go forward and miss, that could be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for. He wants no part of the outside. Back between the ropes. I know anything is possible, but I just can't envision a new champ being crowned here tonight. The champ just comes into tonight. The champion into the cover! And he lands the slam. He's got to be running on empty at this point. Yeah, it's going to take more than that. He's got him now. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Look out! We're getting the job done with a splash. Byron, I agree that the champ comes into tonight with a great deal of momentum, but like you said, anything can happen. We've seen the champion into the cover! And he got a near fall out of it. Well, that's another example of Johnny Gargano always having his opponent well scouted. Look at this athleticism. He's really taking over this match now. Message delivered. So damaging. Wrenches the arm. Ooh! Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Obviously a great opportunity here for the challenger who can't afford what does Buzz have in store. Oh, I think this man means business. Just when you thought we were gonna the champion into the cover. And he got a near fall out of it. Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find Death Valley Bomb. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Well, he got him. Let's look at this again. The follow-up Byron. Here's the cover. One, two, three, the history books will have to wait another day. That match deserves another look, folks. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been. Yep, the wonder after the grueling victory over Bobby Roode combined with back-to-back -back weeks of defending the U.S. title. Is this starting to take a toll on the champion? It has to be, Cole. I'm telling you, he's not used to this type of schedule. his U.S. title open challenge. It's the masked attacker. We haven't seen him since he wrestled Buzz in NXT. Well, that's not Baron Blade unless he very quickly shed about 40 pounds. Well, maybe Baron Blade has been hitting the gym. Maybe he's been on the Saxman diet since we last saw him. I don't think so, Byron. No one wants to be on your stupid diet. underneath the mask obviously thinks they can use it to exploit Buzz's past to gain a psychological advantage. Well, Buzz has been tested physically in WWE, but now we're going to find out how tough he is mentally. I'm honestly surprised someone didn't try this sooner. 
clearly on a mission here. Oh, my God. He's inflicting some serious pain here. And he lands a hellacious uppercut. He's trying to mangle his face here. The challenger's taking on some offense. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. I can't tell you how many victims have suffered the same fate. Perfectly executed. It's Sami Zayn! I knew it! You thought it was Baron Blade. Leave it to Sami to pull off some generic stunt like this. Kevin Owens from behind. KO and Sami Zayn are formally welcoming Buzz to SmackDown Live. It appears the on-again, off-again relationship between Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens is on again. And these two will do anything when it comes to winning championships.